thoughts on your, your official debut? Um, it was just really fun. You know, it was fun getting back, getting back out there. You know, my, my first ever college game. You know, that was something I've been, I've been dreaming, dreaming of my entire life. So, you know, it was, it was fun to go out there with my teammates and, and compete and get a road kill. When Jordan is, I guess, not producing as much offensively like he was in the first half, do you guys consciously talk about who is going to step up and kind of be the go-to guy in, in his place? Uh, I don't think so. I think it just, you know, depends on, we, you know, we all try to play in the flow of the game. And, uh, you know, if somebody gets hot, like, you know, Ryan did there early in the, or in the middle of the first half, you know, we try to run a couple quick hitters for, for him, a couple quick plays, you know, just to get him going. But, you know, I think we all try to play in the flow of the offense. You know, it's not necessarily, oh, Jordan's not hitting shots, we're going to this guy. I think we all try to play in the flow and feed the high hand. How do you feel about that small ball lineup with Dwayne at five, you and Jordan out there? Do you, I mean, you got to like playing with those guys, I'm sure. Uh, how, does, how does that work out there? The uh, only thing really different is uh, we switch, to, excuse me, switch every ball screen, screen with uh, with that small ball lineup. But, you know, Dwayne, he can hold his own with those big guys down there. As y'all can see, man, he's, a, he's an animal on the glass, really physical. So, you know, I think it's, it's to our advantage because, you know, we can, we're uh, quicker than our opponent. We have that small ball lineup, but not necessarily, you know, um, I should say, you know, less strong because we got, you know, Jordan and, and, uh, and Dwayne holding it down. So, like, practicing with those guys, I mean, you learn a lot from them? A ton. A ton. You know, competing against Jordan, you know, preseason All-American, every day in practice, you know, it's just making me better, you know, on both sides of the floor. Uh, you know, Dwayne's been kind of a leader, leader for me, you know, helping me, you know, with a lot of stuff on and off the court, so it, it's been great. It seemed like defense was responsible for generating a lot of the offense that kind of started that run in the first mm -hmm. half, too. Were there any plays that, that stuck out to you? Uh, defensively? <laughs> Um, you know, I'm gonna have to go back and watch the film to be honest. Like, this is a weird thing about me. I don't remember a lot from the game. I got to go back and watch the film. Do you remember anything that was different from the beginning and the end from the middle where you all were really, really good? Um, I would say when we were playing, uh, playing our best, you know, at the end of the first half, we were, uh, you know, getting stops on defense and executing on the offensive end. And then we were at our worst, you know, it just, you know, they made some tough shots at the end, you know, the last four minutes, you know, not the way you want to finish finish the game on the road, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, we got out here with a win, so that's all that is. What was the message from Chris Mack after the game? Oh, uh, he was just, you know, telling us that we got to finish that game better. You know, you, you can't um, take any, any road win for granted, or any win in general, so uh, we're definitely excited about the win, but, you know, we're just saying, you know, if there's four freshmen on the court, uh, that last that last war we just gotta finish better. Thank you, Sam. Thank you guys.